Hello everyone, this is MD Tech here with another tutorial. Today I will be showing how to disable the lock screen in Windows 10. Basically the lock screen is something that if you use Windows 8 or Windows 10 you are very familiar with and that is basically the screen that you have to click or swipe away at before you can get to the login page. And in this method we're not even going to have to go into the registry as other methods show as there is a site um, how to geek actually published an article and they have created a registry entry that we can just download onto our computer and it'll automatically disable or enable the lock screen if we like so it's going to be a very quick method to do this so I'm going to put a link in the description to the download from how to geek they're the ones who get all the credit for this registry file uh, like I said there is a manual way to go through and do this as I've unfortunately had to do before but this method is a lot quicker. So pretty much once you download the compressed file, you just want to open it up. And you're going to see two registry entries in it. You're going to see one that says disable lock screen and one that says enable lock screen. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to double click on disable lock screen. It'll say the publisher cannot be verified. Click on run. Click on yes. Are you sure you want to continue? We want to click on yes again you see that the keys were entered successfully and now at a later point in time if we wanted to go back and enable the lock screen we could double click on this registry entry that says enable lock screen so I'd recommend putting this away on an external flash drive or put it in a safe spot if you wanted to re-enable it at a later point in time just to show that it worked I'm gonna restart the computer here Okay, so we can see that we skipped over the lock screen, however you still have to enter a password. Now there is a video that I've made in the past that will allow you to skip over the login password every time you turn on your computer. A link for that will be in the description of this video as well. Okay, so there we go guys. I hope this video helped you out and I will see you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.